Hello, dealers. Thank you for participating in the 2021 NATDA Dealer Performance Week and joining me in today's discussion about getting back to basics virtually. Dealer Spike is pleased to be able to share the multiple ways a dealer can build a strong online dealership and ensure long-term success. My name is Haley Holland and I am the Marketing Programs Manager at Dealer Spike. For those who are unfamiliar, Dealer Spike is a digital marketing and website agency based just outside of Portland, Oregon, and has worked with prominent trailer dealerships across the nation for nearly 10 years. We are honored to share our insights and industry knowledge with dealers through this presentation. As I mentioned, we're going to dive into multiple practices that will help your dealership get back to the basics and build a better foundation with long-term success. As we all very well know, 2020 completely changed the online shopping experience for all industries, particularly for online dealerships. Where in years past we've seen about a 1% annual growth year over year, in 2020 we saw a 20% climb in online transactions. That's equivalent to two decades worth of growth. And even though the initial shock of COVID has passed, the accelerated growth has not slowed online. The change in customer behavior is here to stay. Because of this rapid change, it's important for dealers to build a solid online presence to ensure their website, their online dealership really, performs to the best of its abilities, yielding success and higher ROI for the dealer. So right off the bat, you might ask yourself, why does my dealership need a strong online presence in well, in today's market, shoppers are more likely to be on the go and thus looking to get results now and so to speak, which means um, they are browsing for that trailer that they need to haul debris right from their phone and want results quickly, anytime, and from anywhere. In the past, dealers have used their websites as catalogs and waited for customers to come to them. Well, with the change in, the day, in this day and age as shoppers, you can't afford to wait for customers to come across your site. No, instead, your site needs to appear where they are looking. In a few slides, we'll discuss how search engine optimization and marketing will come to your advantage and help your website be more competitive. Having a strong online presence also doesn't restrict you to just a website. Social media can attribute to a strong presence online, allowing you to connect with shoppers from multiple platforms to get your products in front of them at pivotal moments when they're making decisions. Listing on third-party sites like Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace will also gain more exposure for your dealership. These websites can be extremely useful um, for not only moving older and or used inventory, but they can be used as free or inexpensive advertising tools and connecting with browsers during the beginning stages of their search. Before we move forward, let's just take a step back to review what today's typical online buyer's journey looks like. Granted, not all will take this exact path, but this will provide some color for what we will be discussing today. So most will start by researching, and when I say researching, they won't just search, you know, Bob Jones' trailers are us, unless they have history with that dealership, whether they have a product in mind, a peer recommended the dealership because they sell what the shopper's looking for or otherwise. No, they will begin their research through either typing in keywords or key phrases. For example, our shopper is looking for a trailer to pull his motorcycle. He doesn't know what model or manufacturer, heck, even the type of trailer that might solve his problem. But he has, he knows he has a need and knows that it requires a trailer. So this search might look like trailer to carry a motorcycle and within the top 25 results is a link to one of your listings because within the body of your listing you had noted that this particular trailer is perfect for carrying that new harley davidson motorcycle those keywords matched the person's search and then they clicked and visited that link which then takes them to your website they then land on it from their laptop and think huh well this is this is a great spot. This is about 30 minutes from my house, but only five minutes from work. 
I'll drive by on my way home. So while on the road, they need to look up your hours and address one more time, and this person is thrilled to find your website conforms perfectly to their screen size. And they can easily click on your phone number or scroll down a bit to find that you have driving directions he can follow. Amazing! You've now connected with this shopper through their laptop and mobile device because your site is responsive um, and has what I like to call fat finger friendly navigation, easily clickable even from a small device. Well, unfortunately, he didn't make it in time and your dealership is closed for the evening, but that's okay because this, is, this shopper is excited to learn not only more about the many different types of trailers you sell that all have the capacity to carry a motorcycle, but he's actually even filtering through your inventory to narrow the search down further. Filtering by price, year, make, and seeing what kind of warranties or specials your dealership offers. After spending the better part of his evening searching, he found the make and model he wants. He sees you offer special financing, he's ready to buy, but has a few questions for you. Not a problem, because you not only have your phone number listed clear and bold on your homepage, you also offer live chatting and can text with your potential sale easily. After answering his few questions, the shopper is on his way to completing the purchase. This is a great demonstration of how simple the process can be but also attest to the importance of having more than just an online catalog. So with that, let's dive into what we deem the top 10 crucial marketing strategies to connect with your customers online. First and foremost, responsive website platforms are absolutely essential. To reiterate, responsive website means that the same website will reshape and resize to fit within whatever screen size you're viewing. In fact, Apple and Samsung alone are currently selling products with more than 30 different screen sizes. This also works in conjunction with mobile friendly. For years now, Google has reinforced the importance of having a mobile friendly website that allows users to easily search your site with the same ease while on their phones as they would with a desktop or laptop. If unsure if your website is responsive or mobile friendly, Google does have a few helpful articles and support pages to test your website. In addition to Google backing, a survey revealed that 85% of adults think a company's website should be just as appealing as if they, if not more, while viewed on a phone than desktop. And because your online shoppers are looking at your website, let's talk about the optimum layout and what is important to include from the desktop to the mobile view. Well, first off, it's extremely important to keep your contact information top of the page, easy to find and especially on mobile, ensure the font size or icon is large enough to click on. I also recommend keeping your address top of the page as long as space allows but in mobile, it's perfectly acceptable to include a maps icon and yield the small real estate to your dealership's phone number. Next up, when you're configuring your website, ask yourself, where do I want my customers to go? What are my key profit centers? Where am I wanting to drive clicks? And what are the not so important pages? I recommend placing your inventory buttons on the left hand side of the navigation bar and in the row of clickable buttons above the fold. This is because our minds are trained to read left to right, and you wanna ensure you're putting the, your highest profit center where the eye will go first. Now, you know your business, so put yourself in the driver's seat and direct your traffic where you'd like them to go. If parts and accessories really isn't big for your dealership, don't waste the valuable space on your homepage with a button instead Place financing or service if those provide more traction for your business. If you're unsure what else to place on the homepage, include a texting or chat option where a prospective customer could click to text or start a live chat with a salesperson, as these widgets or buttons really usually take up minimal space. Although keep in mind, we wouldn't want to include a floating chat button on the mobile view as it would take up too much space 
and encourage a visitor to bounce or leave your site quickly. Utilize the space you have above the fold before a visitor has to scroll down to the fullest potential and drive shoppers where you want them to go. The layout of the homepage is very important as that is where the majority of your traffic will begin their browsing. So it's important to also keep a simple navigation. Like I mentioned on the previous slide, it is important to place your key profit center starting from the left-hand side first and then progress to the right. Absolutely keep your navigation bar pages easy to understand with short titles for each dropdown or page. Focus on minimizing clicks for your browser. If your button on the link or button or link is directing someone to a new inventory page, ensure that page the browser lands on is in fact an inventory page and not a content page with more clicks to go elsewhere. This will yield a poor customer experience and increase the chance of your potential sale leaving your website. So to wrap up this section, I just wanna leave you with one last recommendation to ensure your website layout is friendly to all. Utilize an ADA website widget. What those do is allow your users to be able to read, see, access your website without any impairment or impediment. Example, if a buyer is colorblind, Having an ADA web, uh, widget on the web page will allow them to see the page clearly as the widget will um, allow them to alter contrast and font color without changing your website. It can be very beneficial to both you and your shoppers. On the topic of ADA, let's take a minute to talk about online communication tools. There are so many options out there from floating boxes with a lady named Samantha ready to help you to click to text SMS friendly numbers um, to even messaging tools like Facebook Messenger. How you choose to streamline your communication through your website is entirely up to you, but I would highly recommend adding click to text or call to your website as that allows your buyers from any device to easily click and call or text your dealership. To throw some stats at you, 95% of shoppers will answer a text in less than three minutes. Wow. And of those surveyed, those, uh, those that responded to the text were 40% more likely to make a purchase. The upside with texting is it's not a niche audience. We're seeing all ages, you know, 18 to 75 plus, use text messaging for quick questions and inquiries on units. The major takeaway with this is that online communication tools allow you to learn more about your customer before they even arrive to the showroom, arming you for a better selling experience. Before we get into on-site content and more into the nitty gritty of your actual listings, let's take a step back and quickly touch on your dealer management system. First of all, if you do have a software-based DMS like Lightspeed or IDS, you should consider linking or integrating with your website provider if it's, already, if it's not already linked. With the use of a DMS integration, it will allow your business to ensure inventory is listed correctly across your website to third-party listing sites like Craigslist. Having an active feed to the website will guarantee that the inventory reflects what is on the lot showcasing your current units. Listing actual units available increases engagement with browsers on your site and will result in more sales in the long run. But not only is it important to keep your inventory fresh and updated, it is also important to keep your website content fresh and not stale. Especially nowadays, it's important that your, website, your website's content conveys your branding, messaging, and even your values. How about starting the new year off with a new special, you say? Perfect place to add that sale to move last year's models out the door is your website, but even better, let's blog about it. Blogs have been shown to not only create better customer engagement over longer periods of time, but it also works for you to better increase your organic ranking over time. And don't worry, we're going to go into a deeper dive um, on our organic ranking and how to improve that over time in the coming slides. 
Secondly, after you've blogged, which can be as simple as a post about new trailers that just hit your lot, or even a happy customer, let's look at newsletters. Newsletters are a valuable tool to connect with your customer base even after they've purchased. You can utilize newsletters for specials, events, hours, and operation updates, and more. Use newsletters to build a strong customer following through sharing best practices, upkeep tips, and new model or product releases with your customers. A pro tip for both your blog articles and newsletters, target low competition keywords, meaning keywords that can rank with little to no authority. In other words, dealers need to target keywords or topics that they have a chance to rank for. To close, Blogs and newsletters only help your website grow a stronger presence online. So when you are writing, focus on being authentic and relevant to your dealership. That will only work for you in the long run. Well, we've discussed content quite a bit. So let's pivot and look at images and videos because those are the little touches we can easily forget about. Don't rely on stock images to help with listings. First, you should always aim to take actual photos of your unit. Shoppers are more attracted to a listing that has an actual on-the-lot image rather than simply a stock image or no image at all. In fact, Raymond Research conducted a study last year and they found that 56% of online users' first action is to start researching the product images. The fact is many of us were starting our shopping process from home before COVID, but now even more are starting and finishing the buying process from the comfort of our own home. So real life images are everything. In fact, inventory pages with multiple images taken by the dealer saw almost 350% more page views than listings with only stock images. Ultimately, that's what we all want, right? More eyes on our listings to increase leads that lead to better chances of closing a deal and ultimately moving inventory off the lot. So use images to your advantage. I, rec I recognize that not a lot of trailers are easy to photograph and some dealers don't have the space to pull each unit out to photograph individually. But have you considered taking a walk around video of the unit to give it its own 360 view? Well, if photos of the unit are difficult to take, getting that perfect angle, try taking a video. Not only are they easy to take on most smartphones, but they are very attractive on a listing page. According to Google, not only do buyers consult videos before making a purchase, but because Google and YouTube are connected, Google will index YouTube videos on your website that will actually work towards positive organic search ranking growth. But bonus, those videos you took of your inventory can be easily worked into, say, I don't know, a newsletter or a blog or for future social media posts, which we'll touch on on the next slide. All right, social media. Social media is extremely important as you can use the myriad of platforms, Facebook to Pinterest and on, to your benefit and meeting shoppers where they're scrolling. But you might ask, why is social media important to my dealership? Well, for some, it's the starting place of their search. Going back to the modern buying experience we discussed at the beginning, oftentimes shoppers scrolling through Facebook, for example, they have a need but have no idea where to start. So they'll search simple terms just to get their bearings. In their searching, they may connect with fellow community members or follow a group to continue learning about what product works best for them. Let's quickly address the different types of social posts for those that might not be as well as versed as others. There are paid social posts that say through Facebook, you'd manage in your Facebook business manager where you'd set a specific audience segment you'd want to get your post in front of. This is where you could tailor your audience to fit your shoppers to ensure your ad and your money are put to good use and not wasted on an audience who may not purchase a trailer in the near future. And then there are free posts. Those would be posts you can publish right there on the dealership's Facebook page. You can also set events that followers can like or RSVP to and post a multi-image or video post of a new unit that just came in. 
all without spending a dime. We'll spend a little time later on talking about paid ads, but for now, let's focus on the free post. As I mentioned, you can post an upcoming event, perhaps your dealership's offering a limited capacity happy hour or barbecue that customers will need to register for ahead of time. Or you have a new dealership promotion that you want additional help promoting. All of this can be done through social media for free and with little time spent. I mean, if we think about in terms of volume, Facebook has over 2.6 billion users worldwide. So even a fraction of that is a lot of eyes that could be looking at your post, which lead them to your dealership online or otherwise. Use these platforms to your advantage and connect with potential shoppers through messages. Most platforms have direct messaging available, um, like Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. The content of your post should be a genuine representation of your dealership. If you're a funny guy, and that's the energy your dealership puts out, post something funny now and then. Keep your feed authentic to you and your dealership. With that said, let's look at organic search ranking and how being authentic and genuine will work in your favor. You might be asking, why in the world does my website ranking matter? Since everything begins online, you have to be easy to to find on popular search engines like Google or Bing. Google is responsible for about 94% of the total organic search traffic worldwide, meaning you can't afford to not be accessible through organic searches. And to throw some more stats at you, most will not go past the first page of results. So it's even more important not only to be found through, their, through organic searches, but to be found on the first page. If you're wondering what the difference is between SEO or search engine optimization and SEM or search engine marketing, I have a very simple comparison that should help. Think of SEO as your 401k, your savings or retirement, and SEM is your paycheck. One takes a long time to grow and build, but the longer you spend on it, the more you invest into it, the bigger the payoff. The other will yield the instantaneous result, and uh, you are paying, you're paying directly into it, much like your paycheck. So bigger question is, how can you work on and improve your online SEO? By understanding what drives SEO will allow you to focus on areas of, of improvement for your dealership, as not all dealerships will need to work on the same elements. Well, the big one is mobile opt optimization, and we hinted at that earlier. Business News Daily put it best. Because 94% of all organic traffic is coming from Google, it is imperative to have mobile optimized website, not only because more than half of all global web traffic comes from a mobile device, but also Google prioritizes mobile page load speed as a key metric. This means that when Google, Google is determining a website's organic search ranking, they place those with mobile optimized websites with qu uh, quick load times over others. Value-driven content is another huge factor in a better ranking and positive SEO value. My favorite saying when speaking with dealerships is, don't stop at being the expert in the showroom, be the expert on your website and online. Consumers do not have the level of knowledge about your products like you do. So share that with them through keyword rich content, perhaps through a blog article, a social post, or even right there on the website. Not only will you build a positive reputation as a thought leader, but also we've seen through a couple of studies that businesses that deliver educational content have higher conversion rates on their listings. Another thing is online reviews. Online reviews are a hit or miss with some. Some of you might already practice paying close attention to your reviews, especially when they are less than positive. But for those that don't, did you know that 92% of consumers read peer reviews about your business in order to pick um, between businesses to, do, to work with? Most consumers will read online reviews as a telltale sign of exactly how you'll conduct business and what type of experience you'll have. 
I know we've all been between two restaurants and it's come down to their star ranking and price point. You're not gonna choose the place that has two stars when the place next door has rave reviews and bonus, they actually have cheaper prices. In fact, 72% of consumers consider online reviews equivalent and as reliable as personal recommendations. Following a sale, don't be afraid to ask your customer how their shopping experience was, and within your own comfort level, of course, ask them to drop you a review to share with others. You can also use your newsletters to your advantage here and send a newsletter to customers after a sale with your business listings like Google or Yelp, where they can go to leave you a, reveal, a review if they feel moved to do so. The last piece I'll leave you with regarding SEO is your online business listings. With Google and Yelp top of mind, ensure that your information, phone number, email address, physical address are all correct and accurate. You will also want to ask your website provider to ensure your website schema is updated and accurate. Schema is an invisible layer of code that Google and other search engines box will crawl and read. This then translates to the search results page. For example, when somebody is searching for dealerships near me, the address listed in your business listing pages and website schema should all match to yield an accurate result for that search. Small errors or inconsistencies here and there can definitely add up and attribute to lower overall search ranking. Bottom line, ensure your information online across the board is accurate and synonymous. That will lead to better ranking and better search results. All right, let's flip the switch and talk about paid marketing or search engine marketing. Using the analogy from earlier, search engine marketing or SEM is your paycheck. That gives you measurable, darn near instant results. And there are three types of paid ads we'll go over today. The first is PPC, or pay-per-click. Pay-per-click is a model of internet marketing in which advertisers pay a fee each time one of their ads is clicked. Essentially, it's a way of buying visits to your site rather than attempting to earn those visits organically. Search engine advertising is one of the most popular forms of PPC. It allows advertisers to bid for ad placement in a search engine sponsored link when someone searches on a keyword that is related to their business offering. For example, you are a top selling Max D trailer dealership. And if you were to bid on the keyword Max D trailer, your Max D trailer ad might show up in the very top spot on the Google results page. Every time that ad's clicked, sending a visitor to your website, you would have to pay the search engine a small fee. When PPC is working correctly, the fee is trivial because the visit is worth more than what you pay for it. In other words, if you were to pay $5 per click, but the click results in a $5,000 sale, then you've made a hefty profit. PPC can definitely be effective for your brand and yielding a good return on your investment. The second we're gonna talk about is display advertising management or display ads, as most know it um, and refer to, the process of advertising a product or service through visuals, like images and videos on publishing websites such as Google Display Network and Facebook. Display ads are placed on relevant third-party websites in the form of a banner, an image, or even text ads. Display advertising is pretty much a blanket term that includes every visual ad placed on a website. However, it can be divided into three basic categories. Site placement advertising, contextual advertising, and remarketing. Display advertising is an excellent way to build brand awareness and get clicks, conversions, and sales from users who might not have an interest in your business per se, but have found your display ad to be relevant to the solution they were searching for. And lastly, social media advertising or social media targeting, which I hinted to previously, are advertisements 
serve to users on social media platforms. Social networks utilize user information to serve highly relevant advertisements based on interactions within a specific platform. In many instances, when target market aligns with the user demographics of a social platform, social advertising can provide huge increases in conversions and sales with lower cost of acquisition. A key benefit of social media ads is that some channels are consistent, but time consuming to dial in. For example, Google AdWords can produce consistent results for your brand, but it takes a while to master and earn specific placements. With social media advertising, you can have consistent sales coming in from the very first day your website is live. What you should take away from this is to get in front of your buyers with advertisements. SEO is crucial, but paid advertising drives traffic directly to your website from the get-go, generating more quality leads for your dealership. Riding on the coattails of SEM is targeted digital advertising, or TDA. Targeted advertising is an advertisement that is served to a specific audience which could be a particular demographic, a group, or even a specific person. At its most basic, targeted advertising can simply mean that ads are chosen for their relevance to the site content, in the assumption that they will be then relevant to the side audience as well. There are numbers, a number of types of targeting, but the most popular are behavioral or contextual advertising, which targets people based on their behavior, such as their search queries, they, they use um, the websites they visit. Data from such behaviors are considered indicators for, their, for the individual's interest to guide decisions about the ads they will be served. Then there's geo-targeting or geo-fencing. Geotargeting involves serving ads to a specific market based on the geographic location of potential buyers. Given the variety of situations around the world at any given time, a city, state, or even a country can often constitute a niche market for certain products or services. Think drawing an invisible circle around your dealership or even a convention center where maybe a trade show is happening. By doing this, your targeted ad will appear for those searching for relevant terms or browsing relevant websites inside that invisible circle. And then lastly, retargeting, also known as remarketing, involves targeting individuals with ads for specific products or services after they visit the website for the business. Retargeting is the technology behind ads that follow people from one site to another. We've all had this happen. Think about it. You've looked for a pair of shoes on Nike.com, and somehow, some way, that pair of shoes seems to follow you everywhere you go, showing you a different ad between different websites in order to get you to come back to the business and complete your sale. Using targeting and retargeting to your advantage to get your ad in front of the right audience will help increase your ROI. And lastly, don't forget the power of after-sale follow-up. Take the time to reconnect with your new customers after they've made a purchase and encourage them to come back to become repeat customers. Closing a new sale costs about five times the amount of keeping a loyal customer. Additionally, loyal customers are more likely to buy again, already knowing and trusting your dealership. Once the ink has dried, send your new customer a thank you text, email, or heck, even a call just to personally thank them for their purchase. As mentioned previously, use your newsletters to your advantage and send them a thank you email, plus include a way for them to share their feedback with you and others. A review is a great way to tell future customers just how good your team and your dealership is. Take the time to send them reminders of upcoming service, if applicable, or invite them to attend a special, uh, special event exclusively for customers. Lastly, 
ask your new customer to follow you on social media if they don't already. These practices will help you solidify a long-lasting relationship with your customer base. And with that, that brings us to the conclusion of this presentation. I thank you all for listening. Just to quickly recap as we went through quite a bit today, one, dealers should strive for a strong online presence to engage with your shoppers. Work on optimizing your website for any device, particularly mobile. Uh, keep your website content up to date and engaging. Removing all that stale content helps grow your organic search ranking. Images and videos are invaluable on inventory listings and can be used for future social media posts and paid ads. Stay active on your social media. Connect with shoppers there and on your website. And increase website visibility organically through paid advertising. And then lastly, make sure to follow up after every sale and continue engaging with your customers. If you should have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out. I hope you all found this helpful in getting back to the basics. Thank you for your time and enjoy the rest of the 2021 NATDA Dealer Performance Week. Thank you and goodbye.